Hey there. This is a very brief introduction to a recent series of one hour online gatherings in September of 2022. We invited folks to join us as we paint a more vivid picture of what it is we actually do here in this unique little organization that we call livingresilience.net. We also wanted to flesh out just how excited we are to share our new online community space, a space where kindred spirits can connect and support one another in many different aspects of the global collapse aware conversation. We hope to share with you this environment in which we can share uh, practices, conversations, uh, in-depth explorations of topics that include trust, mutual care, holding space and learning circle facilitation with one another, reclaiming center and agency, sense-making skills, advanced self and co-regulation skills, learning profound embodiment skills, metabolizing grief and other feelings and emotions. Welcome to this new Living Resilience online community space. After seven years of a patchwork arrangement of different resources and offerings on different platforms, we've brought the entire body of work into one online location. It's a podcast, it's support groups. Well, we'll be talking about that. In this new environment, we all have an easy, private and secure environment to dive into in-house and guest events, a growing library of transformative online courses, a diverse set of special focus support and study groups, and our experiential deep dive community of practice group for those who are ready to make practices of reconnection an integral part of their daily lives. The long version of the elevator pitch for this livingresilience.net is that we are offering transformative support, practices, and resources to people bravely facing human-caused collapse of earth and human systems. The short version of the elevator pitch is profound resources facing troubled times. We're offering this body of work to be of service to life on earth in this, the most challenging and predicament laden time in human history. As you'll see in this series of four one hour sessions recorded in September of 2022, we start at what many people experience as the entry level of what can be a progressive set of steps or sometimes called stages of awareness that a person discovers that the world around and within them is in some degree of collapse. No two people experience these symptoms of the human-caused downgrading of both Earth and human systems in exactly the same way. In these four sessions, we explore and hopefully validate a few of those progressive stages of awareness. You may notice that we intentionally crafted these sessions to invite very personal sharing at every level. This is our first opportunity to share one consistent feature of doing the inner work of facing collapse. This first feature of the work is to decouple from the rapid fire, self-terminating business as usual culture. We all need to first slow down. So these four sessions are meant to be very conversational. They're meant to be equal parts of informative about the living resilience body of work. 
and opportunities for those attending the session to share about their concerns, their internal and external resources that they call on to stay grounded and connected in a stressful world. In this introductory series, you will hear about some of the common themes for folks who participate in the living resilience work, such as rebuilding trust and functional relationships in families, neighborhoods, workplaces, expanding our personal capacities to be present in the face of ever-growing stressors, learning facilitation skills, making us more able to hold space for each other in a circle or support group setting, learning essential sense-making skills that start with a focus on an embodied discernment of the truth in each moment and brings that discernment to a clear and grounded experience of what is actually occurring on this planet at this time, sense-making. At each level of the stages of awareness, we will offer a deeper experience of the clear messaging from within our own bodies. This will include many opportunities to feel fully our feelings and emotions, including metabolizing generations of suppressed grief. Yes, it seems to be a ubiquitous weak suit, this topic of grief at the cultural level, all the way down to the family and individual level. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Please enjoy this brief introductory series. If your interest is piqued, we hope you'll consider signing up for the self-paced course, Dancing at the Edge. This course is meant to give you a sense of some of the core distinctions of our work and learning community. And if you are willing, a strong experience of some of these practices of reconnection we so often mention. You're also warmly invited to join us in any of our special focus study groups or our community of practice deep dive support group. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any technical challenges with any of this work, accessing it, you know, how to find out more about any portion of it, please contact me, Dean Walker. My information's here on the screen, and it will also be in the show notes of this video. So welcome here. I hope you find this useful, and I uh, hope to see you in some of our uh, more advanced offerings as you progress in this space. Thanks.